Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com with another Ask a Question video, which means, yes, you guys can ask your questions over at ddfranco.com slash ask. Link is below, and just maybe I'll answer those questions in videos such as this one. Today's question comes from Steven. He says, hello David, can you please make a video and tell us what video editing software you use and why you prefer that or those programs? Thank you very much, Steven. This is an awesome question and actually a common question I get now and then. Okay, let's start out with an obvious one, to me at least, but a lot of people overlook this, and that is that you do not need expensive gear, you do not need expensive software, and overall, you don't need to go over the top to create the best video in the world. I started my YouTube career simply using the Apple iSight camera, which by today's standards, it really sucks. Uh, but back in 2004, that camera was like the one to have. It wasn't cheap, it cost $150. But you can also get a much, much, much better webcam nowadays for maybe like 49 bucks from Logitech. However, I will say that my camcorder that I'm using right now costs about $500 on Amazon. Link is below if you're interested in purchasing it yourself or just go to Pinterest.com slash David DeFranco. This is indeed the Panasonic HTC SD600K. I will be selling it pretty soon for the HTC TM900K. I'm pretty sure that's the model number. So with that said, again, do not get too caught up in all the most expensive gear. You can indeed get away with a nice cheap flip cam or the Kodak ZI8, which I still own, which is a solid camera. And it does have external mic support, which is awesome. And yes, you can, of course, use your iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, even your iPhone 3GS, which that camera kind of sucks by today's standards. But hey, it's still video. And you can even use your iPod Touch. Let's not forget about that. And yes, the same goes for iPad, but recording video with the iPad is it going to be that easy if you want to use the high def camera? But anyway, getting to the point of this question, this is all about software. Number one, iMovie. I started out my YouTube career by using iMovie because it was included with my Mac. Back then, I couldn't believe how awesome this software was for being included with the system. Now, I'm not dissing Windows here or anything, but when I was a Windows user, I was kind of used to the whole bloatware thing where you got ads and all this marketing software included. And you're kind of like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? This software sucks. Now, of course, this doesn't apply for every manufacturer. This is back before the days of 2004. Getting to the point, Macs do come with great software. They come with iMovie, GarageBand, iPhoto. So if you are a Mac user, you most likely already have iMovie installed. Click it in your dock or just go in the applications folder, spotlight that open iMovie and start editing. iMovie is a very solid piece of editing software, especially for the price. Yeah. Free. Now, of course, if you don't have it, you can buy it in the, in the app store. I think it's like $15, and even there, $15 is cheap. Now, I should say, I'm not totally sure about that price. You'll have to do your research, but either way, it's definitely worth the price. Also, no matter what people try to tell you, iMovie is a fine editing application to get some even pro work done. People have told me in the past, oh, David, you can't edit pro video in iMovie. I have to fully disagree. Editing is just one thing, but it comes down to how you shoot your footage. You could do a pro movie on an iPhone 4S. And yes, it has been done before. There are videos, just Google iPhone 4S pro video, and it has been done very successfully. So please do not let the naysayers fool you. This video is really not meant to rant. I'm just trying to use this time as an excuse to push those people out of the way that try to tell you that you can't do something with the software that you already have. Because trust me, you can. As long as you have a good eye for video or photography, and you have decent editing software, you can create a masterpiece. However, with that said, I do have to be honest, I've 99% graduated from iMovie. I say 99% because for whatever reason, there is that very small percentage of a chance that I do have to use iMovie, but I'm really not sure why. I have used it in the past, but I forget. Anyway, let's push iMovie out of the picture. My primary editing software nowadays is yes, indeed, Final Cut Pro, 10. Final Cut Pro 10 for $300 is a solid buy. I absolutely love Final Cut Pro 10. Yes, it looks like iMovie, and people may say it's iMovie Pro. Believe me, it's much, much better than iMovie. Yes, it looks like iMovie, but it's so much better. They did take away some features from, you know, Final Cut Pro 7 and Final Cut Express, but for a person like me gradu graduating from iMovie, Final Cut Pro 10 is a godsend. It allows me to do things that I've always wanted with iMovie that I could never do before. And do not let the simple interface fool you. It's extremely powerful software for what it looks like. Yes, Apple did a clean start, which I fully support them for, because some people fail to realize with a clean start, you have to take away things 
that were there to begin with, but with the new architecture, things will be added over time. And Apple has been keeping up to that promise. They have been delivering multi-camp support. I believe you can even um, import Final Cut 7 projects now. I'm not totally sure about that, but there is an application on the App Store. Just type in import Final Cut Pro 7 and you'll see exactly what I mean. I could talk days and days about Final Cut Pro 10. That's how much I love it. But you guys don't even have to spend $300 on it. Apple does indeed offer a 30-day free trial, which I think is very generous of them. So click that link below, check out the free trial, and well, enjoy it. So to wrap up this video, I use iMovie for years and years and years. And while I still don't use it nowadays, I still got to say, guys, it's excellent software for what it is and the price you pay, which is usually, yeah, free. And then a huge level up is Final Cut Pro 10. Do not let people fool you. People who diss Final Cut Pro 10, they usually haven't even used it for themselves. So believe me, use Final Cut Pro 10. Again, free trial below, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Now, of course, iMovie, Final Cut Pro 10, those aren't the only two solutions. We do have plenty more video editing applications available for the Mac. Just Google video editing Mac and you'll find plenty of great choices. But iMovie and Final Cut Pro 10 are my two personal picks. So thank you very much for your question, Stephen. Hopefully that helps. And if you have any further questions related to video editing, just post below and hopefully I or somebody else will help you. And of course, this is indeed an Ask a Question video, which means you guys get a free audiobook. Always good. Go to audibletrial.com slash the creative one. Link is right below. Click that and just search the Zen. I'm getting texts. The Zen of social media marketing, an easier way to build credibility, generate buzz, and increase revenue. If that title doesn't sound interesting, then I don't know what does because I love social media. I love making money. Who doesn't? So check it out. Link is right below. Not only do you get this free audiobook, but you also get a 30-day free trial. So thank you to audible.com for making that possible. And very special thanks to you guys for watching this video. If you guys have a question that you want to see answered in a future video, just go to ddfranco.com slash ask, and just maybe I'll answer it. And I'll see you guys next time.